I'm ready when you are. I'm always ready when you are. Always sir. ready when, always ready when okay. you are. And welcome back to By George from Page to Stage. It's been a while. It has. We've gone grey in the interim. Gray, this yeah. is it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to brag that I was in a show, really. You're you were just in wearing a great a nice show. comfy jumper. Now, uh, the, <laughs> first of all, let's big up School of Rock. No. It was an extraordinary show. Your kids were sensational, but you were great. But congratulations on that. Thank you very um, much. Uh, uh, basically, we're here on, on this podcast to tell you what's happening with By George. Uh, we always wanted to do a wrap up session anyway. We did. We did. But I've, I've waited until we could announce that it's on Spotify yeah. and on Amazon Music. Yep. And, we've kind, uh, of, and we've kind of missed it because it's just all happened, but it's all happened like so quickly. It happened like, over approval. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, the the approval took a took a fair amount of time. I didn't realize it was such an exhaustive process. Mm. But they they check things like production values and things and yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. that it's up to up to stuff before you before they send it out. That makes sense. And everyone accepted it. So um, you can ask your Alexa device or whatever to play by George, and it'll do it for you. <laughs> And it won't confuse it with the podcast as well. Which Will is it good. not? Because no, I know every it. episode of the podcast is up there. I, I've tested it and uh, played by George Chip Shop Musical. If you give those instructions like you said on the post, it does go, playing by George, the Chip Shop Musical. Oh, so, yeah. it's lovely. And I've listened to it like basically nonstop. I, said, I just I said, as soon as I got here before we started filming, that... All the songs are now stuck in my head, which obviously during the podcast, like yeah. before I'd seen the show, no, you didn't know. they weren't stuck in my head. Yeah. I mean, there was little snippets, but now the whole show's there. The feedback's been lovely, but from the cast as well, yeah, yeah, to yeah. hear their voices coming out of things like Spotify and Apple Music. It think, is surreal. Oh. You're like driving in the car and you're like, I'm just listening to a, a cast recording yeah. with my friends. Yeah. It? It's very odd. It's, it, it, it is strange, but it's so so rewarding. It's been really nice to do. Um, the uh, video is is live, so the, the yep. show is now uh, up and... and, and On can, the UV tubies. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'll be doing, uh, to follow this podcast, I'll be doing s uh, snippets on, on YouTube, but the whole show you can buy as a digital download. Oh, yes. Or as a physical DVD. Excuse me, plug. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was thinking about this. I, yeah. I, I only bought sort of 50 blank DVDs to mm. make the things because I didn't think people would want DVDs anymore or CDs. And they sold really well. Yeah. There's, there's this kind of weird... Th okay, so like in gaming, for example, yeah. there's this massive shift from physical copies to digital media. Yeah. And they've been trying to do it for years because that prevents people reselling it. Yeah. And it also means that you, they don't have to print it. They don't have to pay for the production. That's no, far easier. It's digital. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be massively easier for you. Not have to sh ship it out. Mm. Not have to worry about couriers and all that. It also means that they, you know, the people buying it can watch it instantly. Yeah. So, if, so if, say for example, if, if someone wants to come in and watch it because they're they're thinking about wanting to, you know, buy the rights for it, the faster they can get their hands on it, the quicker yeah. they can make their decision, right? Yeah. But. There is something like just nice about having a physical disc. I think hand. that's I think that's more it. Yeah, I, I've I've get, I've sold DVDs to people who don't have DVD Plus players. You can then easily give it to someone else. That's right. And you that's go. It. I don't have to set up a wee transfer and try no. and figure out how to get my bandwidth to support uploading this bloody massive yeah. file. Yeah, here's, here's a, disc. a physical CD, yeah. DVD, whatever. Go listen slash watch. Yeah. So uh, that was an eye opener. Mm. Um, and and again, that's been very well received, which is which is really nice. Good. I did it as a double DVD in the end. <laughs> well, I couldn't. I, I couldn't, couldn't fit quite, it all on. I couldn't quite get the quality on. I didn't oh. realise. You know when we were discussing the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we said, well, the first act is running a little bit slow. And it, 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 it'd probably be a, a, about 55 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second act will be 50. Yeah, yeah. The whole thing came in at two and a half hours. Oh, it's because of all the laughter. Because you had to keep pausing I, in the show. There aren't 40 minutes of laughter. No, yeah. I, I think it's just the fact that the cast are enjoying it. Yeah, And, yeah, yeah. and they, they, they slowed it down in order to get the laugh across. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't know why it was so long could you not have just put the speed up by like 10 percent? Uh, yeah but then i sound just like a smurf you know, <laughs> can't can't do that <laughs> funny little story i listen to the, the smurfs christmas by every christmas <laughs> so like 
<laughs> I'd, li- I'd really enjoy that, actually. Okay. By George the Chip Shop Musical. Hang on. Like, in the Smurfs. Give me something to do. I'll do a Smurf <laughs> version of By George. That'd be nice. <laughs> Blimey. Uh, so, yeah, that happened over Christmas. Um, we still haven't had any interest in taking the show further. Okay. But I think it's because we haven't really pushed that angle yet. And I think I needed a, 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 a digital thing in order mm. to send to people. So that'll be going out over the next month. Is it fair to say as well that, like over the kind of November, December period, it's probably not the time when people start to try every, to Every company is usually show. doing Panto. Yeah. So that they've got yeah, their yeah. minds fixed. And in fact, that'll still be there in fe- February. And is this, uh, we haven't really talked about it at great length, but everyone asks me about it. And I'm like, I don't know, ask Richard. Then go. Um, yeah, the uh, the question everybody asks me is, you know, oh, oh, is he selling the rights to uh, to amateur groups or is he going to try and get it for professional groups or, or what's, what's I don't. For? I don't see any point in, in making it exclusively for, for professionals. Yeah. Uh, no amateur companies can take it. No mm. problem at all. Um, the, the set was big enough to fill the LBT stage and extend so it could fit uh, places in Bradford and yeah, Leeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it, that, that set would fit the Alhambra uh, because it can extend. But I don't know whether they'd want to do that or build their own, or because it was fun watching the building process. Yeah. Having said that, it's a it's a quick and cheap cheaper version is to just buy hours and. To, and it's already set up then, isn't it? And, it and you've great. got the instructions, like you said. You, yeah. I think uh, was it over December you put out the video where uh, was it James and John were showing right. how to actually. Kind yeah, of the people who made the set and the people who were in charge of, uh, of of the stage management actually did a backstage thing. This was on the very last day of George, and it was in between the matinee and the evening show I said James just do this (laughs) before you take this set down show us round and he did this fantastic 10 minute tour of how the how the wiring worked how the set actually flipped together uh, what the tricks were with the stunts and and everything so I put that up on the on the rich rich sykes.com website yeah it's got a page uh, dedicated to anyone who's wanting to buy the license and they can see exactly how it works what's involved what you'd need as a society in terms of personnel in order to put it on so yeah it's kitted for that you've like done all the logistics for a mm. prospective buyer yeah. Yeah. really haven't yeah. you it's kind of i mean i remember when we did that podcast episode when they were first building the stage yeah and you know th- this is almost a sequel of that isn't it it's kind yeah. of like all the things that they were still figuring out then they very quickly made their decisions yes. and got everything and sourced it and then and then to watch that video now yeah. and see james just go oh yeah this is this this is this and it sounds dead simple and dead easy yeah but like there's a lot of thought went into it, so yeah. I suppose for for anyone looking at the, you know getting the rights, because you and Maria plotted it out from the get go and said right, it's going to be all set on one stage. There's there's no moving parts really. Yeah. You've got the kind of three set areas. You've kind of already figured out all the staging elements, and like now it's as you say, it's just in a case of adapting that. Um, that set to the, the dimensions of your stage. Yeah, exactly and, right. And for example, you know, a uh, cross arch, yeah. you, you've already got it covered as long as it's big enough. Otherwise, you just scale it down and take some of the bits out. If, yeah, if they're not essential. I, I think there's possibility for it to, for it working <clears throat> as a thrust as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you pull the main set forward uh, so that it, so that that's effectively your cross, and then you do the rest. Uh, on on the thrust, yeah, we yeah. we were close to doing that. There was a fair bit of thrust in 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 our production. We, it was pulled forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and, and that was Neil's decision to do that, and that it, it, that's what created the street at the front. But mm. you could have a more general area for that. I loved the curbside. Oh, the like attention that, to detail was amazing. And and the like kind of foliage and the, yeah, they like, put weeds in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the gutter. And can we also just mention the fact that the four D experience as soon as you walked into that theatre. Yeah. You had the smell of chips yeah. and vinegar and salt. Yeah. Kind of, I just love that. Like people said that as well, didn't they? I'm sure I can smell chips. Like, yeah. Well, they like, could. No, no, no. no. You're, was, just, you're just imagining it. Do you want the secret? There was a lovely lady called yeah, yeah. Carol who was yeah. backstage, and I, she was constantly cooking chips. She was yeah. throughout the whole thing. I went up to her and asked if I could have one. And she went, I wouldn't. The three days old. Exactly. <laughs> she was recooking three day old chips and fish. Oh. So, like, to have that is that is that listed as the uh, as part of the kind of like yeah. requirements for this show? Uh, it's a to suggestion. Go, you need to have one person whose job it is to every every night before the show <laughs> just goes all the way around the theatre with stale fish and chips with extra salt and vinegar, yeah. just to make sure that the audience go. I well, bet the LBT still smells like. It. Oh, probably that yeah, back, yeah. that back. That yes. grease will have like. I, they've got a very the greasy back passage at the LBT. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Greasy's the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know him. Oh, that's interesting. 
So, yeah, um, there's uh, the other thing is uh, on the digital download, um, I've, yeah. I've added lots of special features. All our podcasts are going to live on the digital download site, which oh, they God. do. No, they're, they're already there. So someone can like not only just stream it and listen to it, they oh, can now download it. There are 52 gigabytes of extra material on there, including all our podcasts. Uh, the, the script is on there, the new oh, script, wow. because uh, something that's happened since our last podcast yeah. is that Maria and I have actually sat down, gone through it and said... And right, what we're we keeping, what's going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the script kind of developed with the cast, mm. and we knew that the cast were coming out with better lines than we had, and like little ad libs that just added oh, to the character. Absolutely, yeah, it's stuff that you can't really get across on a page. That's right, by itself. Yeah, uh, but we've tried to incorporate uh, the, those characters. It, it was 50 50. Mm. 50% of the lines that were said, we kept. 50% of the, the lines we kept were said, we lost. And we said, no, ours was better. Yeah. And so we, we, we make, made a judgment call whenever there was a difference. We added some more stage, stage instructions as well. Um, we were there for about six hours on, uh, just on the script and worked, worked methodically through it and thought, right. <laughs> And we also shifted an awful lot of those um, instructions that we were mentioning earlier about, the, uh, yeah, and, yeah. and then shifted them to a section called director's mm. notes, mm. which are not part of the script. They're yeah, more yeah, suggestions, yeah. which yeah. includes the smell of the chips. <laughs> you know, if, if director director's note. So if you was, want the smell, was then. that kind of like working with Neil, or was that just based off Neil's notes? Or it how was. Does that work? It, uh, no, uh, we we didn't consult Neil. We didn't need to because what Neil's input was all on the DVD. I was just about to ask: Were you just watching the DVD, pausing it, and going? into the script and going okay let's I will be perfectly honest uh, Maria watched the, the the thing once and and, and, and went, knew it. Uh, she she knew exactly what it was doing wow I haven't watched it since I finished editing it really oh, it, to be fair you're it, probably a bit it took, like worn it, out from it it took me two months to edit the yeah. thing and get it all all sorted and rendered and and I was nothing would you know chill me more so do you reckon next time we'd probably just pay someone else to I'd, do it? <laughs> no. Now, a, a very interesting question. I, I obviously, uh, I approached um, two places uh, yeah. to, to film it. Yeah, yeah. And I made a decision early on that they wouldn't do any of the editing. I'll do the editing. Yeah. And it wasn't just for cost. Yeah. I knew that mistakes would m be made. Now, how do you tell... A, a, a video editing house no that note's not quite right let's let's take that note yeah, yeah. no what they would do was create an incredibly professional uh, version of what was on the stage that night it would be including, all about the visual mainly yeah, yeah and all the errors would still be there i yeah, tried yeah. to uh, because we filmed two nights mm -hmm. one was a dress rehearsal night yeah, yeah, yeah and that provided cover for one for one scene where someone went wrong Oh, right. Uh, yeah, not, not everything went perfectly on the Friday. I mean, I've yet to watch the DVD, by the way. Yeah. I'm waiting till the house I'm fully settled in, and then we'll watch it. We haven't mentioned that you've moved houses. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Stick to bye, George. <laughs> so, well, well, that's the thing. I, 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 this, this is a coda, because we've effectively both really moved on from by it's George been, now. Yeah, no, it's just been pretty busy. Be yeah, honest. we've done lots of other things in the interim, yeah, which yeah. is nice, but it is, you know, what, is it four months since George finished? And it's, it's September. Yeah. Oh my god. It has. Yeah. It's been been one hell of a four months. Yeah. We've packed an awful lot in. You did School of Rock. Mm. I got the. I, I got a house uh, ready to rent, and mm. uh, and so, uh, and that that's been taking time. But also, I've been writing new stuff. Maria came back with uh, the uh, edit for uh, for the, for the play called Escape. Which um, I'm so excited about. I, I, I'm more excited because of her edits. She's oh, right. actually physically mapped it out and said, right, this has to happen here. This goes here. Even and more so than what you had on the wall. The wall was about the characters. This is about right. the physicality and where the sink goes, where, oh. the, where, the, where, where, where we're going to have the, uh, the cupboards. God, it's like and sore, isn't it? It really is yeah. weird uh, because it's starting to, to, to come in. My, and also, it's not just the play because mm. I've always got music somewhere. And so I've got uh, the, the new musical coming as well, which we're hoping to happen in 2025, which will mean it'll need to be... next year. It is next year. <laughs> we're hoping, I'm, I'm hoping to finish it in eight months. Wow. So eight months to do it, and then we can keep the same time scale as we had with George, yeah. doing the read th reads through in September, October of this still, year. Still a stumble on that. Is it read throughs? Is it read throughs? Read throughs? <laughs> courts martial? I don't know. Right? <laughs> so yes, read, we're still doing reads through. Uh, hopefully, September, October time. Yeah. 
And that'd be that'd map exactly onto what we did to George. So in nine months, so basically it's a baby. You're it's gonna, my you're little baby. For the next nine months, and then you're going to do some. I don't think I'm giving away things. an awful lot about my social life when I say this is the only <laughs> kid I'm ever going to have. So, uh, <laughs> unless you've got a lolly stick and some gaffer. So uh, no, uh, basically yes, the, the Village Hall is is going to be is going to be the show. I don't think it'll be called Village Hall. Oh really? No, that's, oh, that's a terrible title. I quite like that. I I mean, as a working title, it obviously it like says what it is. Escape though. I'm guessing es- Esca- that's Escape set. is a good title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By George was not a good title. Do you know what? Right. It's not. I, I'm going to defend saying that I think uh, when when you put the subtitle in, chip shop, the chip shop musical. Yeah, I had to because uh, no one knew what the hell it whose was. Whose idea was that? Mine. Be, okay. Well, I think once you put that subtitle in, it, it contextualizes it and, it and it makes sense, right? Yeah. But because you've got that the chip shop musical yeah. afterwards, I think it quantifies it and it and it makes you go. Ah, yeah, and like the beauty of it is, you didn't put the Yorkshire chip shop musical. No, so it doesn't. It so it doesn't, could translate. Yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. The, I mean, uh, still would have been good, but I, uh, who knows? I, I I just don't know what else it could have. I think I was arming and ahhing as to whether to do spoilers in this. So. For the next five minutes, folks, we are going to spoil the musical because so just, we've we've never discussed the ending. No, we haven't. Because you didn't know the. Because I didn't know the ending. No, which is why I was like, "Oh!" When I first right. saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, well, let's let's call it ten minutes then. Skip this bit. No, I'll I'll put a time code in the description. So right. let's spoil it from now. Okay, what do you think to the ending? Um. So. This is this is why I actually think that By George as a title really works. This is the only way it works mm. with the kiss off line at mm. the end. No, I, I, no, I, I, okay, I, if you called it Wibbits like you originally planned to, yeah. every single person would go, "What on earth is that?" Yeah, and no one would get it. And, and also, I was listening to it. Uh, I, I was listening to the the track all this week. Um, well, I was listening to the, the cast recording all this week, and. Everything that kept going through my head was, it kind of has a bit of a rhyme to it. Yeah. So the opening Yorkshire Born and Bred, all the way to the end, you've got this kind of, you've got that, um, you've got that uh, start where you've got this welcome to Yorkshire, yeah. and then at the end you've got goodbye and yeah. all of that stuff. But all of those kind of little moments, if it had been called Wibbit, I have no idea how you would have made that work. No. And the fact that right at the end you've got, um, you've got by George. Mm. By Nikki, and the way she delivers that is perfect as yeah. well. You know that that kind of really, what that did with with me and everybody else in the audience was they all went, oh, uh, but and a, went, oh, it's over. But no, 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 they didn't do it. They didn't do it in a, oh, no, way. because they did it in a. Oh, it, that's it's clever. not a very obvious pun. No, it's just it's b b y e George. It's a subtle change, and j- this is why I say Nikki did it so perfectly because. The intonation yeah. that she delivered that line with yeah. makes it really clear that this is linking back to the start, where in Yorkshire Born and Bred they go, "We're Yorkshire Born and Bred by okay. George." Yeah. You know, yeah. it's and the fact that you have that little moment, uh, that, that little segue in Yorkshire Born and Bred, which is yeah. all devoted to uh, George telling the audience, you know, it's uh, it's not like it was, yeah. um, it was all right before, all that stuff, and it really that that immediately shows you that characterization. Yeah. And for them, you to see the rest of the plot unfold, and then you see um, uh, Pauline's plight, let's call it. Yeah. And then she gets that moment where she finally gets that agency that, that as yeah. we've said on the podcast yeah. many, many times, that's the whole point of the play, yeah. the whole point of the musical. Well, it's the arc. Seeing that moment, yeah. you know, uh, and for me, obviously, not knowing how it ended, seeing, um, and I'll get onto it in a second, but seeing the confrontation, let's call it, the, the lame is confrontation yeah. between uh, George um and Will, uh, Will yeah. was, you know, you, you kind of, the whole time, you just think, she's obviously going to go for Will. She's obviously going to choose rug him. Yeah. Or she's going to, she's going to, um, you know, go back on everything, all the progress she's made, mm. and she's going to do that thing where she puts Sam first and she thinks, no, no, let's keep the nuclear family. Well, not nuclear, but, you know. Yeah. And then none of that. She just goes, no, no, no. Let's let's stop what we're doing, Will, yeah. because I think it's a pipe dream, and I don't think you're ready, and I'm not ready. And then what's going on with George? You know, you you are mm. you are not the man I married. 
Yeah. Well, I've moved forward and yeah. you've stayed in the past. You've regressed. Th that's the thing. It, think, it, it, yeah. it's, it's one of the most complete character arcs. There aren't really any other characters it's that progress so in the same way. to see a woman know. in a musical Get that. really have that. Like it, where her, her whole plot is not devoted to a man. Watch My Fair Lady. And mm. you'll see that George is actually, by George, is actually the antithesis of it. Yeah. Because if you watch the movie version of My Fair Lady, and, and at, at the end, Julie Andrews, come, <clears throat> uh, sorry, uh, Audrey Hepburn comes back and says, um, and, and, and Higgins uh, leans back and says, now where are my slippers? And she comes and she brings the slippers. Yeah. You think, what is that? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is awful. Yeah. It, it, it really rankles. Mm. And, and that's the anti. Uh, that's exactly what I it's, threw against. It's what they tried to say with that piece, right, was she was, um, she was a, uh, a kind of piece of coal. That's and right. he's like basically turned her into yeah, a Yeah, the original Pygmalion. But yeah, actually yeah. all he's done is just make her to conform to, yeah. to what he and the rest of yeah. the and men the, this is This is reclaiming how you that. should be. Yeah. yeah, whereas this is going... Women, uh, no, do no, no, you no, think? no, no. You shouldn't be subservient to George, no, and you're not. you're not just a baby, man. or any man. No, you are exactly yeah. even even Will, who seems really, really lovely. And I don't know if this was uh, Gareth's uh, acting or your writing, or if it was Neil's direction, but there was something about Will the whole way through where the audience loved him, and and you really kind of felt for him. But then there was a few moments where he was almost. Almost as forceful in a way as George, Very much in so. the sense that he was like, "No, no, you need to be with me. Yeah. You shouldn't be with him." Yeah. And it's almost like your intentions are clearly like okay, yeah. like you, you definitely want to rescue her. Yeah. But she doesn't actually need rescue. I, I, I hate that. That's exactly yeah. it. She, she actually, she actually just needs to have control and be given the the respect, trust and autonomy yeah. to, to do what she wants to do That's and best support for her Sam to do what there's he a very, wants there's to do. There's a very important line yeah. before uh, Will has given uh, Pauline a lift to um, to, a, to a gig. Yeah, yeah. And Will, and, and th there's, it, that song is really heartbreaking if you're yeah, batting yeah. for will yeah, yeah that's yeah. a really hot it, and uh, it's it, you you realize that that will isn't the ideal you know mm. he can rescue her yeah absolutely they could yeah, go yeah, off yeah. together no, no no that means she'd have to sacrifice not only her kid yeah. but she'd take away from from the chip shop the stuff yeah. that she'd poured her heart into so will is not the ideal option I have so much on the time is rotten Next time it'll be forgotten We shouldn't be waiting anymore So what the hell are we waiting for? We'll leave the past behind The future roads unwind Two hearts are of one mind We'll find a common ground And sparkle once again Before we reach the end A choice of now or then It will be better it could be better. Next time around. You also, um, and it's it's this classic cliche with uh, with films and musicals and, and like you know, a piece of media where you're only getting a snapshot of that person yeah. and their background. Like the audience don't know Will's background. No, we we don't know where he came from. No. But we we know he's a delivery driver. We know that they've got this long-standing connection. We to know him. he's very nice. We know he's very nice, but appearances can be deceiving, very. right? He could be really really nice uh, as Mr. Delivery Driver, yeah. but then he could go to his local pub wherever he lives mm. get absolutely smashed and be awful yeah. and you have no idea the other option there is that not the, that he is but. no <laughs> no you're not mentioning nothing about Gareth the uh, the, <laughs> the, the, the overriding mean Gareth obviously the, the overriding factor is that um, she can still have Will yeah. but on her terms yeah yeah not on his it's not a him or me situation Next time around they can do it next time around. That's and she whole, says, yeah. I, the, the, her last line to Will so is, I will, I, <laughs> I'll see you next Saturday. Yes. So she's not she's cutting not him off. She's not closing the door. Absolutely she's just, not. She's just saying, it's on her let's terms. just park 
it's, park your enthusiasm. Yeah, it's your world. Curb your enthusiasm. Yeah, exactly. And we'll yeah we'll we'll kind of figure things out in the future. Yeah. What's past is past. It's time to build what's built to last. It could be so easy. So easy. It's either him or me. No standing, no power. It's not his finest hour. And we all agree. And we all agree. It's either him or me. Him or me. Him or me. Him or me. Why can't, or me. Why can't I, I I'm say I'm sorry? I'm sorry. 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 I'm See you next Saturday. My knight in shining armour. <laughs> Your carriage awaits. What? Uh, wait, 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 hang on, hang on. Are you, uh, are you not coming with me? No. You'll be fine on your own. And so will we. Bye, George. I, I don't know whether it happened as a consequence of Gareth <clears throat> playing it, uh, but we realised that Will was a, a, a real driving force of the of the story, and not just someone who's who she could lean on. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and we, remember, we didn't always have the reprise of next time around. Yeah. And the reprise for me is heartbreaking yeah, yeah. When, when Pauline says, no, absolutely. Yeah. And she, she doesn't kiss him. She kisses him on the forehead. Yeah. And it goes and he realises yeah. that he's not going to get her. Yeah. It's, I, I mean, tears, floods. You can hear the audience go, because he plays it really genuinely. Mm. But it didn't have to be like that. That song didn't exist. So if you just take Will on his face value... He's come storming in and yeah, said, yeah. no, it's him or me. What? Well, so that's, so that's what I've been thinking. When, when I've been listening through to the cast recording, um, I was thinking, what, what's my favourite part of this? What's my favourite song? And, and when you watch it live, mm. you obviously don't have time to really like sit back and, and absorb it and kind of spend a bit of time like going through it and dissecting things. Mm. You're just kind of watching it live and you're seeing it unfold in real time. Yeah. And that's why we pay for for that right we, we want yeah. that experience and and that's why it's more expensive to go and see a live production and better as well than going and seeing uh the, than watching it on a streaming site yeah. um you know and, and the dvd i'm sure it's i'm sure it's had some editing to it like maybe a, a few note corrections here and yeah. there but fundamentally it's still a live production yeah and you can hear that it right? still feels like you can hear yeah. and yeah. feel the authenticity when yeah. you listen to it or watch it but there is nothing quite like watching it live. Yeah. And I think now that I've been able to listen back to it without watching it yet, just listen back to the songs in isolation with no, with, with none of the dialogue, none of the scenes to kind of like, you know, weave the story through. Yeah. When you just listen to those songs, I still gravitate towards Yorkshire Bun and Bread because it's obviously, it's just a feel good. Anthem. Anyway, and then... Um, and Ellie does the best Oh my gosh, that. she's brilliant, isn't she's she? So she, she won't listen to it. She's like, no, 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 I hate listening to it. And I'm like, Ellie, everyone's raving about how good you were. Of course. Um, Keith, yeah. uh, Kieran yeah. actually sent a video just saying like how iconic that bit was. It is. Um, you can't listen to that song without her line delivery. Yeah, yeah. In the your same way that... Is your dinner and your dinner, dinner is, is your tea. No one can do it just, like Ellie. It's so like matter of fact, but it's like, God, you should know this. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, um, and then I, my England and I is like my favourite. It's, it's the anthem for me. It's... it's it's everything that you should hate about it's George. It's a horrendous song, isn't Everything it? that you should hate about George, but you did it so well. But <laughs> everything you should hate about George, but also you're kind of just thinking, like 50 years ago, this character would have been like, you know, everyone should be following what he's doing. Oh, he's your He's Al right. Yeah. He's the hero. But then but um, the Al 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 Alf Garnick came along and yeah, did yeah. A, a, a sitcom actor, Warren Mitchell played him in, in Sickness and in Health and, mm. and uh, Till Death to Us Part. He, he, he was the the original um, anti-establishment. Well, actually, no, very pro-establishment. Pro yeah, yeah. But, you know, 
uh, he'd be seen as a Nazi these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And George still has some of those traits. It's watered down, obviously, because a modern audience could never accept, you yeah, know, yeah, someone yeah. being so vitriolic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, But that's what England and that's and why I you've is. got him, like, kind of very cemented as a Churchill follower. Absolutely. Because it, it is, it's going, no, 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 he's not Nazi, he's, he's very, but he's very rigidly yeah. empire. He's yeah. Em- empirical British, kind of, this is how we've always done it, we'll muck yeah. through, we'll find a way. But what I was going to say... What an awful song. Oh, no, I love it. It's England! England! Yeah, yeah, yeah. England! It's, it's like, you can see the Union flags yeah. and like and St. George. Like You can see everything. This isn't it. Land of Hope and Glory. The equivalent of this is in Cabaret. Mm. There's a song, Oh, Fatherland, Fatherland, yeah, 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 yeah. It's awful. <laughs> it's is it brilliant. Tomorrow Belongs to Me? And it's yeah, the yeah, Nazis. Yeah. And you think, oh, God, it's, let it's it go. England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but then... Uh, when you go through the rest of the piece, you know, for me, you get to that um, him or me, mm. and as I say, I, it, it, it kind of reminds me of Valjean and Javert, the confrontation. Yeah. It's kind of that, that that kind of piece for me. Mm. And I also think that musically, it's my favourite number. Uh, you know, the harmonies, I already mentioned to you a few days ago, didn't I? I messaged and I went, that high note you do right at the end there, him or me, forever. I just, yeah. I love that. But, what it really shows is the culmination of the plot threads. It shows it shows all three of those characters in exactly the light you want them to be shown yeah. in, which is that, um, you know, Will, although he's inherently good and he's trying to do the right thing, he, he's trying to be this knight in shining armor that yeah. he doesn't need to be. There's a, there's a line in it, which I'll point, carry on with the story, but uh, there's a line in it where he says, it's your little fantasy, mm. and it belittles Pauline's... It, oh! And this is what I was trying to get at is that it's only now I'm listening back to it that I'm reminded of, of Gareth's performance and seeing these little subtleties come through yeah. and um, and as I say with, with George like it, it's the same thing the whole way through he's very consistent as a character mm. you, you can't bash him for that he is apart from the fact that he gets swayed by Marge and then he starts to you know kind of fantasise about this new life and, and moving forward yeah. That's the only progression that he actually shows. Progress. The rest is, is progress in the sense of he sees Marge as an upgrade on Pauline. Yeah. But but the rest of his the rest of his character, he doesn't really bat an eyelid to no. Sam. He doesn't seem to care that he's got this son and that he would disrupt his life. He just he just realizes in that moment of that song, actually we can we can pretend that none of this happened. Yeah. I'm still a good person. And and as you say, with Will, it's kind of at that point, it's almost like he's pleading with Pauline, but not doing it in the right way. Yeah. He's not saying, you need to be happy. He's saying, you need me to make you happier than him. Yeah. And uh, and I just, I love that culmination. And then you get to, you get to the kind of, not the crescendo, but it's the, it's the kind of breaking point of the song where it stops. Yeah. Uh, all, of, all of the kind of harmonies all stop and it's, no. I've made my I've choice, made my choice. Yeah. and and that for me and the way that the way that um, uh, the way that it was delivered, you know, the way that Nikki did it, it was just so raw, and you can hear it in her voice. Oh, yeah. And this is what you, this is what I think you're right. If if someone else had edited it, they maybe would have been like, oh no, it needs to be the levels need to be changed. But actually, her going, I've made my choice, but it's it's not too strong. No, it's it's almost like she's holding back tears. Yeah, because she she knows that. You know, there is a big part of her that wishes her and George had worked. Yeah. But there's also a big part of her that wishes that, you know, she'd had someone like Will. Yeah. But the biggest thing she's doing is making the choice for her and what's best for Sam as well. Yeah. And going, neither of these options work. No. At least that that's that's a past thing and that's maybe a future thing, but But it means it's a very odd way to end a musical. But because it's, it's completely open ended and yeah. you don't know what's gonna happen. Effectively the story should be straight after that. Mm. And she should make, make a decision and then Pauline's story starts. Mm. It's it's how she starts her story. It's very weird. But, but the, it na- works. The, na- the nice <laughs> satisfying end line, the by George, to get the pun in, yeah, yeah, and yeah. To, it, ha- it is the last line of the musical. It's the last line that's spoken. And if you watch the DVD, that is the moment where the audience go, and there's all these cheers and they're not cheering because she's gone for another man no. they're cheering and most of the cheers if you listen to it are women in the audience going go on girl too right yeah absolutely and, it, and it's just it was just so um it was so emotional to hear that mm. 
and like we already, I think we already covered it on the podcast, but I was a, a puddle of tears the last <laughs> night watching it. I had to run out before the audience could could uh, could start getting out because I just needed to go and yeah. wipe tears away. Um, like I said before, like that rhyme of, of Yorkshire born and bred, you bring it back mm. to the end to the goodbye yeah. and everyone leaves the theatre kind of thinking, okay, so there's no there's no like definitive resolution in the sense that, like you say, it's a weird way to leave a musical. Yeah. Very open-ended kind of like, but, but also like you're kind of saying, well, now she's got what she wants. It's her choice to do with it yeah. as she pleases. And her story's just beginning. That's really. right. It's your world. Yeah. And 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 that's the that it's your world is kind of the story of, of what's going to happen next. Yeah. But it, it's it's a nice good music. But that was originally how I ended the musical. It's I without, thought it's your world was such. A, oh no, we never had oh, a coda. Right. It was Maria that said, "Look, you can't do that. You really. cannot finish. I mean, you can finish on it's your world if you like." But really, pe- the audience will want to hear yeah, Yorkshire yeah, yeah. Born and Bred again. Yeah, do them, do them. Yeah, that because she said, uh, uh, and um, Rob Rob Durkin said this uh, said, right, you have two strong songs here, mm. and one, uh, uh, and he, he said, it either either you top and tail with Yorkshire Born and Bred, or you you allow a song to permeate through the whole the whole show, and mm. that's what I did with It's Your World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that theme keeps coming up. Yeah, yeah. Yorkshire Born and Red, you never hear apart you from beginning and then, end. Yeah, yeah. End is down to Maria. Yeah, Ma- I, Maria I said you have to do that. That is your bows. It's what people will want. So, so you basically took both people's advice Absolutely. and you went, "I'm going to bookend and weave." The whole show is a is, yeah, yeah. is a, a, I mean, it's credited as script by Richard Sykes. Yeah, there's so much input from people. If you look at the input from the performers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a look at Mel. Yeah. Oh my god. That uh, that superb character, and and we uh, we, we didn't barfish. We we, we we changed the lines to what Mel said. Yeah. <laughs> no, there was no way you could beat it yeah, because yeah, yeah. once she said it, you can't hear anything else. Yeah. Just adored her delivery. Same thing with Ellie. Yeah, and yeah. now El- Ellie was. A, Absolutely, to bang to the script. Mm. She 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 said, but the way she said them, you can't hear them any other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, another person who uh, uh, manipulated, uh, uh, who we would say manipulated the script to her way of uh, to her cadence was Marge. Yeah, yeah. Neovi yeah. um, changed the way that character was written as well. The, there were more yes, yes, goods uh, than, than <laughs> really. Yeah, absolutely. She and, and we kept every single one of those in. She, uh, she, uh, I, I, I loved the. Uh, I, my, my respect for Neovi was huge anyway. But my God, to sit in that bin. I was just about to say. And get <laughs> and and it was. Uh, she wanted more, no, more, was, more. Throw was she not in. meant to be in the in the bin as long, or was she not meant to be as gunked on as much? The original thing for that bin is that there is a hatch at the back, and she she gets out. So she's not being. So they they pour as much as they like, but uh, she's, she's actually, not actually in there. no. She goes backstage to get done up like right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, she no, just no. Went, nah, just... Easier. I'll just sit in the bin. It's true, though, to be fair. It is, but yeah, yeah. we didn't think people, should, anyone would be willing to do it. It was so funny for me watching that. And, like, obviously I'd known from the get-go that the actor had to be comfortable going in a bin at some point. Yeah, so you knew there like, had to be a payoff. why? Yeah. <laughs> and then we get to that scene and I go, oh, it's happening. But it, oh, it, oh, no. it genuinely makes no sense. I it's mean, there's really, a lot of plot points that make no sense. Almost on the verge of slapstick. That oh, it's it. totally clever. But, but it's, it's farce. But it's... Um, You've got people coming out of... The, 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 the concept of farce is people coming out unexpectedly from different doors and saying, oh, hello. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, yeah, you want... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's farce. People running on and doing other things. And farce is someone sitting in a bucket and getting piled by fish batter. <laughs> it was so good, though. Uh, the audience reaction. Every night yeah, was... Yeah, yeah. It, it suddenly became a pantomime crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Because yeah. it's another character that, that makes that is Colin, uh, you know, uh, who's playing Harry. Yeah, yeah. And the build up and his, his <clears throat> yeah, his physicality yeah, yeah, yeah. is so important to that. Yeah, and yeah. we've uh, we've added a bit of that to this, yeah, yeah, to the yeah. final script as well. It's it's interesting reading script version number five because that's the one that uh, it's it's on the digital download thing. You can compare and contrast, wow. but it's it's fascinating to see what people have added and what we've kept, but what we haven't kept. A lot of it's George. I have an issue with George. Here we go. Are, we, are we finished with the spoilers? No, we're still on spoilers. Oh, we're still on spoilers. Right. Okay. George is um, he's not me. I, no. I, I I am the worst thing on that stage. Not not because of the performance. I, I I won't belittle that. 
But what I will say is that if we could have cast someone differently, George should be a, a short, schlubby. <laughs> no, no, not you. Give me 20 years. I'll give you 20 years. <laughs> but he should be... Uh, he should almost be a Churchill. Absolutely. In, in, in physical depiction. Yeah. Yeah, and you are very not. I'm not. I, you no. got curly hair. You're six foot whatever. And also, <laughs> I, I was too energetic. I was too energetic, and uh, uh, but that's that's the nature of my my performance on stage. Yeah, I can't yeah. alter it. I'm not as good an actor as that. So, Mister Wonderful, in that it should in that be regard, it should more, be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, because you were very uh, you were very like a uh, game show host. Yeah. But like with a bit of pizzazz. That's effectively it. who I am. So you are. <laughs> and I, I, I can't. And I, podcast. Well, I, I couldn't. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't turn it off for that. Yeah, because yeah. I loved that song and it was so much fun to do. I love that as well. But no, I, 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 the the unfortunate thing is everyone else's character, yeah, from yeah. from Colin, Neovi, Pauline, and and and, and, and Nikki. Yeah. yeah. Wowzer and Helen. She, so good. She, the thing about the cast recording, I think, is you only get the snippets of, yeah. of uh, Lil and Harry. Yes, you don't get all of you them. You don't get that. You get their little interludes. No, you don't. You don't get two. all of them. I've taken two out. Oh. Yeah, there's, there, there were four. I did think there was less. Yeah, there's only two. But you, you, get, you get a little feel for what they're like. Um, especially that hey, she's had t-shirts made yeah. and then the flowers bit they're the two you kept yeah, it yeah. Which, are, which are really pivotal to getting how they are as yeah characters. but there's another two in the show but there's but there's all the lines all the interactions between between Nikki uh, and Helen yeah. that you miss out on when you just listen to the cast recording and all of like Harry's little snippets yeah. apart from George and the Dragon which is so funny but you're right those characters they're, they're very they're superbly defined, and they yeah. are inhabited by those people. You cannot say that I inhabited George because I, we, I, I, myself and Maria, see George as someone very different. One thing that this production will always have is an absolute hold on my heart and originality. And uh, it's it uh, these people and the amount of effort that Nikki put into it, yeah. the stamina it took for her to do those shows. Yeah. By the end of them, and by the end of the week, she was on her knees. By the end of it, yeah, yeah. the amount of emotion every night she cried. Yeah. Every night there were real tears and real passion into it uh, from a little show that, you know, we knocked up and did. You know, she she was extraordinary. Mm. So let's finish off the spoilery bit <laughs> by saying you felt gratified by the end. You were OK with the I end. I loved the end. I, I think for me... I can't think of any other way it could have ended. I am so glad that I didn't know how it ended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think it still would have it still would have hit me because watching it, I'd have been like, oh, wow. But I'm so glad that I didn't go to... Like any of the acting yeah. rehearsals, and I and I think that from from my reaction, uh, I, I felt like it was a shared reaction with the rest of the audience, yeah. in the sense that like obviously I knew a little bit more than them in the sense that I knew that it was all about her getting agency. Yeah. So I thought I think I probably suspected she wasn't going to choose Will. Yeah. But also thought maybe she might kind of get agency but go back to George, yeah. but say to him. I'm wearing the trousers from here out. Yeah. So for, for that ending, and that's why I say that payoff of hearing her say, bye, George, yeah. was just like, you just heard roars yes. like from, from everybody. And it never stopped after that. The, the, the moment we knew that that reaction was what, the, what we were going to have, yeah. we were guaranteed a standing ovation. Now, <laughs> you, won't have seen, you won't have seen the problem that... Um, oh, can't, oh, okay, end, end of the spoilers will be after this because I have to tell you what happens at the end. Right. And it involves some friends of ours because um, the, 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 film, the, the, the guy who filmed it mm. had seen the, uh, the, the dress rehearsal, the film the dress rehearsal. Perfect, no problem at all. And so he had his, all his cameras positioned and he knew where they were. And uh, one of them was sort of on, on audience level. So there yeah. was a layer of audience in front of him. I was next to one of the cameras. When yeah, that's actually, right. Yeah. And it, it wasn't high, was it? It was at your head I level. I think it was about here. <laughs> that's right. That's a problem when you get a standing ovation. Before it's meant to be as well. Yeah. yeah. The standing ovation came, you know, as soon as, as Nikki walked out, I think, or... Yeah. Yeah. For the start of... And blocked all the cameras. Uh, the whole screen went to black because... You can't. Uh, so, well, thank you for coming. We hope you. Did no, you not have all, all the other angles to no go footage. to? No footage. No oh. footage. No, no, no. But the dress rehearsal. No, oh. no, because you don't have an audience. So, what do you do? 
can't have a huge audience cheering and then from every angle mm. suddenly there's no atmosphere at all so I put out a plea on Facebook mm. uh, to, to the group and said look uh, did anyone film it by How any did chance I miss this? Yeah, because you didn't watch the thing and I, I couldn't spoil it for you yeah so um three came back and yeah. said yeah we filmed it and that's that, all I needed that'll actually feel really authentic it as well. does mm. it helps it because the the, the, the cutting back to no the camera actually stands yeah, so yeah. so the person who's filming is standing at the same time see uh, and you get flashes of the whole audience going now, mental now you know that issue you know I think the obvious answer is you've got the you've got the kind of um, the dress circle barriers mm. you'd set up a camera like there so that you've got we did. We did at the yeah, dress. Yeah. Not at the. Not no on the main show. You'd have to crop all the audience. That's right. Out. That's right. Yeah. A amazing, amazing. But it was fortuitous. They all. Uh, so the, the the cast came to the rescue, and the yeah. people who were in the audience, you know, actually actually filmed the. To end. be fair, that's that's quite. Um, yeah, I like that. Oh, it's lovely. I, I think that it works. feels so good. The the, the Is it still using the audio from the desk? No, yeah. Oh, yeah. The quality degrades of the picture, yeah, but yeah. the audio doesn't. Mm. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to be able to show it. Mm. Um, but yeah, so no, we got it in the end, and it's really nice good. and colourful. It's it's really sweet. I'm happy with the um, with the overall. So yeah, I think we've covered like basically everything that we wanted to cover. Is, is there is there anything else that we want to talk about? Well, um, I, I, we've talked about future projects. Yeah. We've talked about what's happening. What we didn't say is that um, you took the house. The, yeah. You, so yeah. <laughs> you rented. It's, it's now <laughs> friend, landlord, and podcast co-host as well. What's well, yeah, I mean, we've had quite an instrumental year it's together. Been, it's really, been it? extraordinary. Yeah. Extraordinary. What a what a journey we've what, been on what together. What a journey. Yeah. To be fair, you, you were my will. You rescued me from a mouldy. Yeah, plant. but that does imply <laughs> that that does imply that at the end of it, what you're going to do is tell me to. Oh, I'll see you next next time. <laughs> no agency. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's been good. I, I mean, I still haven't finished unpacking. No. Um, and and I, you'll be pleased to hear this. You know, done School of Rock. Yeah. Was nominated for two awards as well yes. with the kids. I uh, didn't mention that. So go into Noda Awards on the something for February. I think it's the seventh. Yeah. And. Um, 2024 for me is going to be a year of rest yeah. and, and, and say no to doing big projects yeah. and just do little things. Well, I've, um, I've effectively got... Unlike a, you. No, I've got, I've, <laughs> I've, I've got a very quiet year after March. And, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, Sister Act is going forward for, for Woodhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, that's at the end of March. Uh, I'm playing Curtis, the big bad. I don't want to spoil it, but Gareth does get to shoot me at the end of it. <laughs> Lovely. I mean, people have had plenty of time to watch Sister Act. Yeah, I think they'll know. When it. was it? 1992 it came out? Don't mention it's that. It's the same age as me. <laughs> oh, don't if mention If you've it. not watched Sister Act, don't watch Sister Act. Certainly don't mention that, that it's the same age, <laughs> same age as you. That's terrible. <laughs> Especially as I went to see it at the cinema. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. The, the, the other thing to say is obviously to get the publicity out of the way for, for, for George and make sure yeah. that it's, it's out there. So I'll be uh, trawling people from 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 Noda to to, to put forward uh, George as a, as a show to do for people. Do also, um, if you want any information on that, go to uh, richsykes.com, follow your way through, oh, and uh, you can slide into my DMs just by uh, going to the uh, going to the contacts page, and you can catch me in there. Otherwise, uh, you can catch every single episode of this podcast, uh, and you can watch it as part of a digital download package, which is available, and um, you can buy that at, uh, at richsykes.com as well. We're on hef hef heavily on YouTube. We are on the YouTubes. Indeed. There will be some stuff coming, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for watching the podcast, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've listened intently. Uh, they'll still be up, and, uh, and you can re-listen to the whole damn thing again. And I'll have to do that soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But from me and from him, thank you very much, and see you next time. Toodle pip. Bye. <laughs>